In this video, you'll learn how to create 3D makeup looks right here on Blender. If you want to learn how to make this, keep watching. The first thing you'll need is a 3D human model that has UV mapping on it. You can simply download a model that's already been made on websites like cgtrader.com and sketchfab.com, or you can do what I did, which was create my own custom model with the Make Human add-on right here on Blender. I have a video about this up on my channel. You're now ready to create your makeup look. You'll just want to switch over from layout to texture paint. And from this point forward, you'll be able to paint directly on your model, your makeup look. As you can see me doing here, I'm changing the color of my brush, but I can also adjust things like the radius, AKA how big the brush is and the strength. The inspiration behind my makeup look today were heat maps. I thought it would be a very cool idea to paint on heat maps on this model and it turned out very well. So I started off with just adding highlight to the face with the brush tool and then I used the smooth tool which is the tool right under that to clean up and blur out the harsh edges. So your two best friends here are the brush tool and the smooth tool although there are other tools in the UI for this I don't really use them. I then contoured the face and went back to the smooth tool to make everything blend better. It's basically like doing your makeup in real life. I wanted to bring in a reference image, so I went to add image reference of the heat map colors because I just wanted to make sure it was right. I continued on to paint and diffuse away and I did the lips. I'm starting the heat map, so I grabbed an indigo color and I made sure the strength wasn't too high, although looking back, it was, I could have probably done it with less strength and it would have been blended out better. But I just started out with the indigo color and it's basically just layering on the colors on top of each other, but making sure everything's very blended and also that there's a little bit of the, the color under it still showing. I went ahead and added the blue and the green, the yellow, and lastly, the orange and the red. After a lot of tweaking and adding some heat mapping to the forehead, this is what I did. So I wanted to add a HDRI so I can render it properly. So I slid over a new tab and I made it a shed editor tab and I changed it from object to world. And I went ahead and added a environment texture by going to add texture environment texture and imported an HDRI. I get all my HDRIs from polyhaven.com and they're free. I tried out a few hair options and I went with the super short hair and I wanted to add a background. So I went to add mesh plane. I clicked the little camera icon so I could adjust the camera with my mouse. And before you do anything else, make sure you save your file and not only save it, close out Blender and a window will appear where it'll, it'll tell you to save the modify the modifications you did on the UV map. You have to do that or your all the work that you did is not going to save. So do that. This concludes the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and make sure you like, you comment and you subscribe.